Welcome back everybody. I am Chloe. I have missed all of you so much and I know that you guys have been missing me too or some of you may, be, may not be but um, I'm going to jump right into this because I made a, I made the video earlier and it cut off so I'm going to try and talk fast. I should really be timing myself because my camera always shuts off at eight and a half, 18 and a half minutes. I don't know why cameras do that these days, but they can't just keep going, but whatever. So I'm going to give a shout out to my five newest subscribers. The rest of you guys know who you are because I call you out every single time. So uh, Zimmer Tracks, um, Stevens, who his first name was Gossip, Bold Servant of Jesus the Christ, Social Bounty Make Money app. And Sam Bierke, welcome to my channel, you five wonderful folks. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you are new to my channel and you have been watching my videos or you haven't been watching my videos and this is the first video that you're seeing, please welcome. And please hit that subscribe button below. Hit the like button so that my video can be shared more on YouTube. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know who you are, where you're watching from, what kind of content you want me to ha to do, how you like my videos, or what you want me to improve on. And so now comes the time. Where the heck has she been? Why is it taking her so long to do a new video and upload a new video? Is she out west? No, unfortunately, not quite yet. Thanks to COVID, I am on indefinite hold at this point, but I do have a guardian angel out west where I want to move that is helping me with my move, helping me get set up with housing and a job and the kind of money that I need to have in order to move and make it out there. So um, it looks like I'm still in my old apartment, but I'm not. Uh, I have it set up kind of the way that I had at the old apartment, but see dog and I excuse me, Sea Dog and I moved to a new apartment in a different city, but I'm still in the Minneapolis area. And so I'd like to show you around at our new apartment. There are some cosmetic things that need to be fixed in here. I had to do a lot of cleaning. Um, the air conditioners were filthy dirty. So I had to like, I spent like half hour cleaning one air conditioner unit. Um, You'd think that they would have done that before they rented the place out, but <laughs> we'll get into that in another video. So I'm going to show you around. If I show you outside my my apartment, it won't really give away much. So this is my view. We do not have a patio. So I have all my plants on my windowsill here, which a lot of them look a little sickly. So that is the highway out there where you see the cars coming and disappearing behind this wall. There is a road on this side of the, I was hoping a car was going by, but um, there is a road that's right in front of the apartment complex on this side of the wall. So this is our view. We haven't unpacked a lot of the boxes because I'm planning on moving hopefully in the next month or two out west. But this is our new home. And as you can see, it's pretty much the same setup as the other place, but it's a lot bigger because we used to not be able to put two couches in here. This is Sea Dog's couch, and this one is mine. And so um, it's a lot, the, the living room is about twice as large as my other one. This is the chair that we got from my parents that's got an ottoman here. Uh, still have Lucky's old toys and stuff like that. Here is the dining room. And of course, you know, please excuse the mess around. Uh, this is the kitchen area. It's backwards from the other apartment and it's an electric stove. Um, I gotta keep saying, stop saying um so much. Pardon the messy dishes. We haven't put our dishes away. This is kind of crazy. Look at this. You can lift the top of that off. So she's got to get the carpenter in to get that repaired. So here's our front door. And then we've got a big coat closet here, opposite from where it was before. Before, when you'd walk in, that coat closet was here. This is my bedroom. The only room I'm not going to show you is Sea Dog's room because I know he's up, but he has his door shut, so I'm going to give him his privacy. Pardon the mess in here. I'm so not used to sleeping on a bed because I used to sleep on the couch. But my room does not have an air conditioner, so I've got my fan going. So... 
Um, so this is my room. I don't have the the frame set up for my bed. Same reason because we're gonna be I'm gonna be moving soon. So why set everything up and then have to take it down? And Sea Dog's room is right next door. He's got a big walk-in closet. Here's the linen closet here. We've got some of the bathroom stuff in a box outside the room here. Here's the bathroom. I had to put in these two um, lights. They were not there. The, the only light that was there is the different one. Um, our sink, if you turn it this way, I don't know if you can tell that it's dripping really good. Uh, landlord said, don't worry about that. She's paying for water, so she wants to pay extra for water because it's dripping. And that's why the sink looks so horrible. But this is the bathroom. It looks pretty much the same as the other one. Except for the vanity is a little bit different. Or the mirror is a little bit different. Uh, we've got a little intercom here. You can hear down into the lobby. So we buzz people in. And so I've had to do some cleaning. I've had to do some maintenance. The toilet seat wasn't screwed on very tight. The landlord is coming to fix this lovely thing up here. Look at that crack in the top of the window. Isn't that horrible? I mean, thank God the bees can't get in because there are wasps flying around outside. Why do they keep finding me? But, um, yeah. And then the air conditioner unit is down here. And like, look at, there's even like a space on the heater down there that's not fixed right. So a lot of stuff needs to be repaired in this place. But I mean, it's, it's a home, you know, can't complain. At least I'm not living on the streets, right? So where the hell, heck have I been? Well, of course, moving. We had to move on the hottest weekend of the year. It was like in the 90s. We were lifting all this heavy furniture up here. We're on the second floor. And we were just dripping wet in sweat. So we quickly, as soon as we got everything moved in, we quickly um, went in and took showers and felt much better after that. I have my hair down to show you that I know it doesn't look as light as it does in the sunlight, but my hair is starting to, to lighten up because of the sun. I haven't colored it. Um, the top of my head, I don't know if you can see, it's a little bit darker on the top of my head, but the sunlight is lightening up my hair, which it usually does in the summer when I'm outside. I've been door dashing a lot and trying to make money so that I can move out west. I do have a guardian angel in the town that I want to move to, or close to the town that I want to move to. So she's been helping me. I already said that, didn't I? I tend to repeat myself a lot, so I, I do apologize for that. So that's what we have been doing. Now, the reason I haven't uploaded, we did move in. Like, we had to be out of the other place by noon on June 30th. And so it's like, well, you've been here for a couple weeks, so why haven't you uploaded any videos? Well, here's another reason why. When Sea Dog moved in here, he signed up just for Wi-Fi, so I don't have a home phone anymore. And it took me a while to figure out that my desktop computer doesn't have the capability of hooking up to Wi-Fi because it's an older model, and so I had to get an adapter for it. And it took me about a week to figure out, because I'm not the smartest person, um, it took me about a week to figure out that I wasn't putting the password in correctly to have the adapter hook up to the Wi-Fi. So just yesterday, I was able to hook up to the internet on my computer. Uh, um, in the meantime, I've been using my phone as my internet. So that is why it has taken me so long. So I do apologize, but I am back. I do plan to do a lot more videos. One of them, I do plan to do a song. Uh, sing a song for you through a karaoke version of this song and I've been struggling a lot um, because of COVID I have been on indefinite hold with my move thanks you stupid virus um, but I'm also struggling because I'm allowing people to dictate my life still and that's one of the main reasons I want to move couple thousand miles away uh, to shake off the chains that keep me here. People are still telling me, giving me the impression that they don't think I can make it. 
I lived in Illinois for 10 years. It's not exactly cheap to live there either. And I was able to make it, granted, at the time I was married. And then shortly after I got divorced, then I moved back to Minnesota. Stupid me, in August, I had suffered from SAD. Why am I doing back, doing moving back to a colder state when SAD hits me worse in the winter? But I moved back here in 2008, and now it's time for me to move far away and start my life over. I'm not running away, even though a lot of people seem to think that I am. I'm just trying to finally put this past behind me and start a totally new life in a new place that I absolutely love. And for those of you that know me, you know, know where I want to go, but I'm not ready to reveal that yet until I move out there. So... One thing I do want to say is, Danny Sierra Lynn, I, love, I have loved doing video chats with you. One of your neighbors, a little creepy, <laughs> very creepy actually, but you have been a godsend, godsend in doing your comments to me, telling me face to face through the magic of technology. Uh, that you believe in me. John, you are the same way. You've commented about how you believe in me. Others have commented. I think, Doug, you made a comment of, um, on my homeless video, on my Heading for Homelessness video, um, where I was asking people to give me words of encouragement to keep me going. Because at this point, right now, as I sit here talking to you today, I... I'm about ready to give up and just stay here and say, forget it. I'm just going to live my life here, even though I'm going to be miserable. Everybody else will be happy. And that's how I've lived my entire life. And I need to stop thinking that way. I need to start doing things for me. And the way that I was raised, don't do anything in a selfish manner. And to me, saying that I'm doing something for me is selfish. And I'm one of those people that doesn't like to be judged, doesn't like to be put down for thinking of being selfish but I have done things for so many people I'm you know up until I moved out of my other apartment I was still bringing stuff downtown for the homeless and you know I do things for other people and I have a sign on my fridge that I know I put in that one in that one video about the homelessness thing um, sometimes the person that's been there for everybody else needs somebody to be there for them and that's kind of what I'm asking of all of you. I'm not saying that I've always been there for all of you, but maybe through these videos I have been. And so I just kind of like, like my, ex, my second ex-husband used to say, turn around is fair play. And so keep the encouragement coming, you know. I really do want to move the heck out of this state it is nice in the summer, but in the winter, it really sucks. So I just need to be in a place where it's sunny all year round. And I don't have to wear winter coats and winter boots and spend five minutes getting ready just to go outside. I can just put on like a light jacket and, you know, throw on a pair of pants, maybe a little bit of a longer sh shirt, but not like sweaters. And go outside and enjoy my life. For, for once, for me. So, sorry, <laughs> I'm probably bringing you guys down now. But one thing I do want to say, and Danny Diamond, I hope you're not going to get mad at me for this, but for those of you that are friends with me on Facebook, uh, or, uh, sorry, on YouTube, what I want to say is that YouTubers tend to promote other YouTubers so that they can build their fan base. And so if you are on YouTube, let me know and I can um, let me know what your channel name is and then if it's different from what you comment below. And then I can promote you and give you guys more viewers and then you guys can maybe promote me on your channels and I can get more viewers. Danny, you have three times the amount of viewers on your channel that I have in mine. Sadly, for the rest of you that I know I've told you to, to go check out his channel before, he has now taken down all of his old videos, so he has no content on his channel. Um, 
I hope you still have your, I, I'm presuming you still have your channel because I went to it last night and it did pull up your YouTube channel, just doesn't have any content on there. Don't be afraid to come out of your box a little bit, Danny. I know it's hard because we introverts tend to think like, oh, you know, maybe the people won't like me and maybe this stuff is stupid. Maybe it's stupid to us, but maybe to other people it's an inspiration. And so that's the way you have to look at it. And so I encourage you, Danny Diamond, and I encourage the rest of my, my fans out there, leave a comment below for the rest of you, for Danny Diamond, and encourage him to come out of his shell a little bit, make more videos, upload more videos, do what you love. And even if it seems stupid to you, like I said, maybe to other people, it's awesome. And you will have haters. I will agree with that. You will have haters out there. Read the comments and then delete them. And that way you don't have to keep looking at them if you go back and look at your old videos. Don't let those people get you down. I know it's easier said than done, but don't let those people get you down. Just keep pushing forward. Keep looking at the people that are giving you positive comments. And... You know, just go for it. It isn't easy talking to just a camera. That's why I'm still kind of shy doing it when I'm out in public. But more and more YouTubers are out there, and so people are used to it being the norm of people talking to cameras because they figure, oh, they must be making a YouTube video. Um, or make, maybe they're making it for somebody that is across the country or something, and they're showing them around. It's okay to be shy, but don't let it run your life. You know, just do it a little bit at a time. Maybe do one a week, one every two weeks, one every three weeks, something. But just something to get you back on, on track. If it's makeup videos, makeup tutorials that you want to do, go for it. You know, um, if it's talking about your life, don't be ashamed of that. Go ahead and talk about that and... You know, if you need me to encourage you, let me know. And I will make a video just directly for you. And um, to the rest of my fans, please give him words of encouragement so that he can get back online. Um, so that he can make more content. So at this point, I'm probably getting close to my 18 minutes. And hopefully my camera hasn't turned off. So... I just want to say thank you all for following me on this adventure. It isn't over yet. Um, it's still going on. It might be a little bit longer, uh, not to my happiness, but in any case, stay happy, stay healthy, turn off your TVs, don't listen to what you're hearing on the TVs because you're going to hear different stories from different people. Um, different news channels, whatever. Just go out and live your life. Be happy. Enjoy the beautiful weather that you have now. And, you know, just live life. Be happy. Be, be loving. Love yourself. Love your neighbor. And so we'll see you on the next one. And you guys all have a sunny day. Bye.